Nestled at the foot of Queen Elizabeth Park stands one of the oldest diamonds in baseball's minor leagues. Nat Bailey Stadium is the home to the single-A Vancouver Canadians and has been a part of the city's landscape for over 50 years. Bud Kerr joined the organization in 1980, shortly after the Seas started their tenure at the Nat, but as a fan he's seen it all. Before it was called Nat Bailey Stadium, it was previous to that it was called Capilano Stadium and it was moved up here from 5th and Hemlock in 1951. It didn't really change its name to Nat Bailey until 1978 when the Vancouver Canadians came back to play because we went nine years without the professional ball team. This classic old-timer grew up playing Sandlot baseball in the 40s and has been a part of his life ever since. Baseball is my life. I guess you could say I, you know, I cut my teeth on a baseball bat. Right, can you show us the name on the, on the seat behind you there? Bud Kerr got his own, uh, his own personal seat. The Nat is rich with history. There are many stories of major league ball players who got their start on this field. The infield grass has its own story to tell. This is historical grass because you had Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Jimmy Fox, Ty Cobb, all played on this, this grass. Is that right, eh? Yeah. Nat Bailey Stadium is one of the prettiest parks in minor league baseball. Although slightly run down, it's a part of Vancouver's heritage and hopefully a part of Vancouver's future. It means a lot to, to Vancouver, having a professional ball team. And uh, it'd be a shame if anything happened to the, to the park. After 50 years of coming to the ballpark and absorbing its atmosphere, the Nat is Bud's field of dreams. Mike Allen, Vancouver.